So we are eyeing the baseline 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch. As you may know, it has a 1.4 gigahertz core i5 quad core found inside eighth gen, eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 to 256 gigabytes of internal storage, Intel Iris Plus graphics. And yeah, say you're getting it to do creative work, schoolwork, whatever, photo editing, video editing, whatever reason you have, but maybe you're also wondering, you know, how well can it play Minecraft? So in this video, I'm gonna be doing an in-depth test, putting myself in pretty much every typical Minecraft situation and looking at how this device performs. But before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes that and will help push my videos to more people. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into this Minecraft in-depth test with the baseline 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch. So let's open up Minecraft here. Let's see how fast the launcher takes to launch <laughs> gets a convenient word uh, so it's opening up here and I'm just gonna tell you my internet connection in my basement which I'm shooting in right now is not the best so there might be a little bit of lag and just delay so keep in mind that's not the actual internals of the computer doing that it's more so the internet so we are opening it up here Mojang and there we are we're now here i'm going to put it into full screen i'm going to turn up the volume here have that nice minecraft music start playing maybe um so i'm going to go into the video settings and just show you what i have going on i got the fov at 90. Uh, i got render distance uh put at 12. we're going to mess around with that though i'm going to set my um frame rate to 120 but it really doesn't matter because i have vsync on which you want to have on for the smoothest experience I have graphics set at fancy. This music is too loud. Um, I have the full screen resolution as of right now on. My GUI scale is at four. I have button. brightness is bright. All particles, entity shadows, done. So let's do a first test here. This is how I play Minecraft. I'm gonna go onto my realm. So I am going to enter here. And once again, my internet is kind of eh. So it might take a minute here to connect, but with realms, it's usually the case. It will just take a minute to get you online here and here we are we just joined the world here i'm actually helping my friend build an underwater house but i'm going to put on uh, f3 here so we can see what exactly is going on and there's my house we'll go over there um, in one of these boats right quick so we'll turn around and uh, yeah we're gonna head inside my house here see how the frame rate is going we're still at a solid 60 fps consistently it sometimes dips down to 58 but that's just v-sync being weird i think um so we will head over here up the stairs we got some glowstone happening we have nice shadows going on we're not skimping out on the lighting here it's smooth lighting is on um which does you know take some performance so here is the house that i built we're gonna Climb down here, I don't know, and just go into here, look out the window, still at 60 FPS, no troubles at all. Here's my enchantment room. Here is a storage that I built down here. I'm doing a little quick overview. Not that you asked, but we're just kind of seeing how smooth things are. Um, then we have my nether portal, which we'll go through in a minute here. But yeah, I mean, no drop frames really let's uh adjust the rendering distance though i'm going to go outside for this rendering distance to let's just do 24 which is double that of 12 obviously and we'll see how that affects the performance just on the ground 59 fps 60 fps so we're not having any troubles there so that's pretty impressive we have um 92 of the allocated memory being used um, yeah, I'm really not seeing any difference in performance. I mean, I am in a mountainous biome, so that might mean something, but we're going to go into a creative world anyway and, uh, check things out, kind of do some flying, but so far so good on my realm. I'm having absolutely no issues other than the occasional, you know, lag or stutter you get from just, you know, your internet being stupid or, you know, the actual realm, uh, host not being good. Um, so we'll, you know, look around here. It's still at 60. We'll head back to my house here. We'll go to the nether. Or actually, you know what? I think I'm going to head back here. Then we're going to go into a creative world, go into the nether, the end, and just kind of see how the frame rates are. But in like a realm, mining, doing whatever you're doing, building, what else would you be doing? It's Minecraft. Um, I'm getting a solid 60 FPS, no problem. So let's create a new world here. I'm going to create a creative one. We're just going to call this uh, MacBook Pro Test. 
and we'll see how long it takes to create a new world so more world options i'm not going to select anything create new world so now we are generating a new world here and that's how long it took um so here we are i'm gonna fly up here um we're seeing a little bit of stutter here that's probably because of the rendering distance so we're at 60 53 57 we're rendering a bunch of chunks right now so it's dipping below 60 but it's staying in the 50s so that's good let's see what happens when we put it all the way up to 32 and uh, we'll fly and same story dipping into the higher 50s but not dipping below 50 we got lowest i saw it has been 53 fps but it seems that we're loading the chunks very well here we'll go back onto the ground the fans are starting to kick in in this laptop here um, which is good we don't want any thermal throttling happening so it's good to hear that so actually 44 38 fps i don't know why that's happening maybe it's because the chunk isn't quite loaded but i think the 32 chunk rendering distance has something to do with it so i'm getting about 40 fps on the ground here in this grass biome let's fly somewhere else and see how the performance uh, is so 37 39 are we experiencing thermal throttling i don't know but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the render a distance back down to 12 which is pretty typical you know that's the default so you're not really missing out on too much here and now we are oh, okay so we're still around 60 52 59 we're back around 60 fps makes sense and everything's looking smooth with v-sync on and all that all right so i just found a desert temple which is perfect because there's a tnt in there and i want to see how tnt affects performance so let's uh go in there shall we we're still at a pretty decent 60 fps average here well first of all i want to see what's in the chest because you know you just have to look diamonds okay bones and an enchanted book flame not that exciting uh, iron a golden a god apple that's pretty decent so let's see how the uh, tnt in here will affect the frame rate so so that actually did not drop frames a lot which is surprising so it actually didn't even drop below like 50 which is you know interesting because like if you've ever blown up anything in minecraft you know that tnt just does drop your frames quite a bit i'll try exploding or blowing up something here uh, let's blow up this little sand formation here i'll put some tnt down so far gaming with the trackpad is not a terrible experience i don't particularly enjoy placing blocks and i do highly recommend you get a wireless mouse if you are going to be playing minecraft uh, you know quite a bit but for the most part if you're doing some casual here and there minecraft you can definitely get away with using the trackpad so let's just see how this affects our frame rate here so we're at 60 we dropped down to seven and now we're back up to 60 so quite a big explosion i mean not that you're blowing up tnc all the time but if you are if you're in factions or something or i don't know you know you just like blowing stuff up in minecraft you'll be all right so let's actually uh go to the nether here i don't know why i'm doing it right here but you know why not obsidian here is our nether portal and let's go through and see how the performance is all right so that was pretty quick you know no delay there um let's fly around the nether load some chunks here same thing with the overworld we're not dropping below 50 with 12 chunks on mind you that's you know default so no worries there so the fans are actually ramping up in my macbook here and i just figured that's because the uh, cpu has been under sustained load for a little while now because you know this is a cpu intensive game um it's a very quiet fan noise so it's not going to be super annoying but i mean i'd recommend you play with headphones so you won't notice it as much so yeah i mean decent performance in the nether nothing unlike the overworld um not running into any drop in frames or anything things are loading up quite nicely and yeah no troubles over here when you're you know going to be mining nether quartz getting all that xp fighting wither skeletons and going into those uh what are they called fortresses nether fortresses fighting gas all that you shouldn't worry about any 
drop in performance while you're in the nether. So I'm actually gonna go to the end now, and I don't know if it's possible to do that from within the nether, but we're gonna try. Yep, we're in the end now. And uh, let's fly up here, say hi to the dragon, all that stuff. Um, let's go back into F3 mode. I don't know why that was canceled out. Um, 60 FPS. Yep, flying around here. Say hi to the dragon. Uh, yeah. 60 FPS. I haven't even seen a drop at all. Probably because the end is a lot simpler to uh, render out here or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, not much to be said here. I mean, 60 FPS in the end, whether you're fighting the Ender Dragon or trying to find one of those end cities or villages where you're going to find those elytras and all the other good stuff, the shulker boxes. You should have no trouble doing any of that. You know, you're not going to like lag out and fall into the void or not be able to fight the Ender Dragon. So... So just out of my curiosity, I'm going to turn V-Sync off, which I don't recommend you do because it will not look as smooth. But we're just going to see how much performance we really get out of this device. So 74 FPS, 78, 76, 74, 79. Let's fly a little bit, see how that goes. 81, 79, 82, 78. Let's go into the forest here. 70, 81 FPS. 85 fps 94 77 this computer is capable of pushing minecraft to in some cases right right now 100 fps 101 fps 87 so this processor is more than capable for this game obviously for the java version here but once again i do recommend keeping vsync on let me turn the uh, rendering distance all the way to 32 see what that does so yeah it appears that the 8th gen quad core processor in this laptop is doing a really excellent job pushing this game and you know what i'm going to do too the last thing i'm going to do in this creative world here is i'm going to put on an elytra so i'm going to turn my uh render distance and everything back to the normal default i'm going to turn vsync back on so we're gliding now. And the frame rate is still around 60. We're going through a desert, so maybe that's it. But uh, going through a savanna, 60 FPS. So that is an Elytra test for you. And yeah, hopefully me just going through just, you know, single player Minecraft or just, you know, vanilla Minecraft gives you an idea of what this laptop is capable of. Again, in the overworld, the end and the nether, you're going to get decent performance, just around 60 FPS for the most part with V-Sync on. So yeah, it's a totally playable experience. This laptop is more than capable of pushing Minecraft Java Edition. Another thing I want to do is I want to test out multiplayer. So let's go to Hypixel and see how that works out. Okay, so we logged in actually really quickly here. And yeah, let's go into F3 again. So I'm now in a lobby for Bed Wars, still averaging around 60 FPS. No problem. Two, one. Okay. So I'll get some iron and gold and whatever is happening here. 60 FPS still. You know what? I mean, I'm not going to play this game right now because my record limit is 30 minutes. I'm now at 23 minutes. But I mean, like, yeah, you get decent performance on servers like Hypixel. So no concern with multiplayer at all. And the last thing I want to test out is screen recording. I'm going to use the QuickTime one. I know there are other methods of doing this, but I'm going to just do this with the native one and just see how it goes, how it affects performance within Minecraft. So I'm going to go back to the Minecraft uh, Java window here. What the hell? Okay, so we're still recording. Good. It kind of stuttered a little bit, but let's go into the single player world again and see how... So I actually have the record timer thing right here. That's pretty cool. You can stop it with a touch bar. And, um, hello. Uh-oh. Well. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. My laptop just turned off. Holy crap. It just shut off. So maybe that was a little bit too much for it to handle. Interesting. That is a good thing. I'm glad that I tried this because every device has a flaw. This might be a software issue or this might be a hardware issue. We don't know, but let's try it again here. So screen recording with QuickTime and trying to play Minecraft might be a no-go. So let's try this again here, loading things up.
So let's go to screen recording again, new screen recording. Boom. Now we're screen recording. All right, so. So this might be a software bug for right now. I don't know why this isn't working. I tried this yesterday. I actually recorded this video in the completely wrong resolution and the same thing happened to me yesterday. So um, I don't really know what's going on here. So I'm gonna force restart once again here. And I just wanna point out that this is at 20%. I started playing Minecraft with around 47% and I've been playing it for 27 minutes. So about 27% of your battery life for about 30 minutes of gameplay for playing a game. It's not too bad, but you're probably gonna wanna plug in here. So I'm going to restart this machine. So what have we learned here today? Well, I learned that this device is more than capable of pushing a great Minecraft Java experience, whether you're playing on a realm, a single player world, or a you know multiplayer server, uh, whether you're in the end, the overworld, the nether, blowing up TNT, mining, whatever you plan on doing in this game, you're gonna get a really consistent 60 FPS, especially with V-Sync turned on, which I recommend you always have turned on. You can play at full resolution. You don't have to make any compromises. We have you know the default chunk rendering distance on you can probably push it up to 16 or 20 with no issues and yeah you're gonna get great performance playing this game no worries if you're someone who wants to play this casually or all the time every day this device is more than good enough for that but if you're someone who wants to stream and if you're someone who wants to like record i at this moment would not recommend using the quicktime built-in screen recorder i would recommend trying something like fraps or something you know lower end or built specifically for you know game recording and I wouldn't recommend getting a Mac for that. If you're gonna be streaming and if you're a gaming YouTuber or someone who's on Twitch or whatever, don't buy a Mac, build yourself a PC, have a dedicated gaming computer. But yeah, ultimately this device is more than capable of running Minecraft. I was actually really surprised. And the quad core processor found inside here with alongside the eight gigabytes of RAM really does enable that experience. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like in this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And also, I want to say in light of that recent poll that I did on my community page, no, I will not be posting like Minecraft Let's Plays on this channel. I just wanted to see how many of you guys would be on board with that crazy idea. But I do plan on starting a secondary channel with a lot of my friends, so I will keep you posted on that. Also, leave me a comment if you have any other games you'd really like me to test on this machine, because I know this is student or and if you want to play, I don't know, like Overwatch or any other lighter games, then this might be the laptop you want to get, or it might be an appropriate laptop to play those games. But yeah, anyways, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.